Luxus Dragnet. Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to speak about some other off-brand anime. If you enjoy harem and vanilla related content, check out this new video I just posted. With that said, let's get started. When the leader was ready to speak with the individual, Ligu appeared to be somewhat preoccupied with Durandal. A few moments later. After defeating Durandal, Ligu met the leader and they began to drink together. However, Ligu informed the leader that he wanted to go immediately, and the leader assured him that he could do whatever with Durandal because he had defeated Durandal. However, leader only wanted to occasionally drink. With Ligu. End of flashback. She recognizes that everyone feels hot, so she doesn't accuse Durandal of doing so out of lust, but she is aware that he has his own reasons for feeling that way. She was somewhat startled to learn that Durandal truly liked Ligu, as she had assumed that Ligu was special or something. And even though he was Velkian, the leader continued the conversation after drinking some beer, saying that he was the one who brought wisdom, but Ligu corrected him, saying that he wasn't particularly intelligent because he was only rated third in Japan for liberal arts colleges. At that point, it seemed the leader realized his unique perspective and he changed the troop's attitude toward his job. And so the leader told him the idea he made that fixed the matches turn into a form of entertainment because in the war all it provided was senseless killing and that she did not like that and he came up with that. And she also said that in this thunder troop all they do is everything as long as they are having fun and they were really glad that he joined them. So after that, the waiter gave the food a Japanese style, and the leader seemed to not know how to use chopsticks, so she surprised Ligu that he could use chopsticks easily even though he was a Velkian. And so Ligu told him he wouldn't call her someone who brings wisdom for nothing, so the leader was happy because she figured out something for Ligu. <laughs> boy. Well, following their steamy exchange, the leader informed Ligu that he would soon be facing off against Durandal again and advised him to remain focused so he could speak to him again. Later. After that match, the leader sneaked into Ligu's room. When Ligu looked around, nothing was there, so as he was ready to continue, he was startled to see the leader standing in front of her and nearly uttering obscene remarks, so the leader advised him that if this was a real battle, he was already dead so he needed to be careful after that leader suddenly sat in front of her and touched that thing. Damn! And as Durandal attempted to see Ligu, she witnessed the leader and Ligu engaging in that activity. The leader was as shocked as Durandal to see that. And that concludes today's video. I'll continue this off-brand anime to show you what happened after Durandal saw them. As I always said, if you guys have any suggestions for other off-brand anime to watch or want to comment on this video, please do so in the section below. Thank you for watching, and I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.